Cancers, welcome to a special reading today to wrap up the Mercury retrograde here um, and ask, it doesn't necessarily have to be a Mercury retrograde question, but certainly is appropriate. Um, we're going to do a heart spread and we're going to look at the one that uh, you can't have, the one that got away, um, the one that you just can't get off your mind. And I don't intend this to be someone that you're actually having a relationship with or that would be in the regular heart spread, read someone on your mind. I mean, you know, single, mated, you could be with your soulmate and you know they're your soulmate and there's no other way about it and you're fine. Now, but maybe there's some unfinished business. Um, maybe there's a little lack of closure. Maybe there's someone that you just can't get out of your mind. Um, and so this is kind of going back in a forensic way, I say, emotionally. Um, to kind of re-examine the relationship and see if there's any insight to be gained um, from spirit um, by looking at the heart spread in this way. Otherwise, it'll be the same. I did pre-shuffle, guys. This is you coming in. Death. Very interesting. I do like to take this back um, to the moment when this relationship uh, started, um, usually uh, in the past. I want to see your other person here. Queen of Cups, okay, Cancer. Uh, will be another Cancer energy. And you're coming in with the Death card. I, you know, adolescence is, is, is fits the Death card. I mean, it's a death of the child in the birth of the adolescent. Also, and you have to go really, technically, it gets a little dicey. Around 21, you know, Venus squares again, Venus, uh, Saturn squares again, Saturn. And um, we're going to get uh, Cancer some energy uh, from that in terms of being 21. Again, of like this transition from, you know, maybe adolescent into adulthood. And then, of course, it really hits you hard only after your first Saturn return at 29 or 30, 31. When that's through, then it's, you're said to truly be an adult. But so this is speaking to one of those times. I'm having trouble telling which one, but this is Saturn based here. And at one of these periods, you met this person, this, earth, this uh, water person. Um, they would have been a little bit older than you, I get the feeling. Uh, this may not be impossibly older, just someone mature and older. Um, someone incredibly beautiful, incredibly desirable. You would have had the feeling like man or woman, I'm saying here. They, oh my God, I can't believe that I could have them. Um, and if you look at the death card here, kind of where you were at, at the time, um, I would say you were quite a mess, you know. And this person was quite composed. So this could be simply you at 14, 15 in adolescence, you at 20, 21, 22, them a little bit older each time. So they've already gone through that phase and they're appearing to you. You know, I remember, you know, when you're 14 years old, somebody that's 16 just seems like, oh my God, they're a 16 year old. It's such a huge difference when you're a kid, you know, so it's like that. So they weren't like 10 years older than you. They were like one year older than you, but it's a big year. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Cancers. Page of Cups. And this is very appropriate um, because um, you're going through this transformation. It's very hard for you. And you're trying to meet this person with the same energy they're giving. Um, and it's not hard because you are Cancer. So here you are, young Cancer reaching out to this person. Um, but if you look here, the, your page is pointing back towards you, you and back towards death. So um, it's like, I don't know if you even really did uh, hear cancer. It'd be like, I want to call them, but you don't. I want to tell them I love them, but you don't. Um, I want to just ask them out, but you don't. Um, you know, um, you just lacking confidence to do that. Now, their energy, Five of Cups, yeah. I think what this shows in terms of them um, is that they're just not interested. I know it's not the Four of Cups, um, but I mean, there could have been some incident with this where 
you're reacting with the page of cups going the other way and they're sitting here with the five of cups and they're kind of regret regretting that they hurt you. Maybe there was sex, maybe there was something and they kind of regret that they hurt you. Um, but I get from this that what they didn't regret was that they lost you, Cancer. I understand they, they were like, man, you know, I really didn't mean to hurt the kid. I didn't really mean to, you know, and you're just like, like taking it back, you know. Maybe sorry you gave your cup to them in the first place. You know, it's like this feeling of being out of your league, really trying too hard to meet them where they're at. And in some manner, they took advantage of this. Uh, it, you guys have some similarities. And um, they legitimately found you attractive. And um, you probably met their energy just the way they wanted it because you were really trying to mask what you're trying for. Um, but you were deeply unfulfilled by this cancer yourself, though. That's the problem with trying too hard to meet someone else's energy. Moon, this speaks to something that you don't see about this whole situation. Um, this is something typically about ourselves. So it's something about you that you don't see. It's not something about your person. You can just go ahead and quit forgetting, thinking about them. Other than, what is it about them that's a, some kind of pattern for you, some kind of trigger for you? something that draws you in maybe where you shouldn't be drawn in something that uh, keeps you from seeing uh, what you need to see um, and let's clarify this the lovers yeah so clarifying with the lovers what is it that emotionally you're not seeing about yourself uh, that's in this drawing you into this relationship that's unfulfilling and making you come back to it and come back to it, even into a Mercury retrograde. Um, and, you know, lovers is just wanting love. I love love. I want love. And um, it's kind of an immature energy. It's, again, it's definitely that energy, which is also Libra, also seventh house, uh, of just wanting so badly to please the other person that you completely, uh, easily, uh, instantly self-negate and completely just do whatever the other person wants. So it's that kind of energy. And you know, it, this hits you at a tough time. You're in this transition phase. Again, you know, markers, we probably are pre-programmed biologically at these particular times um, to formulate strategies, you know, uh, for our sexual identity, for our work life and how we're gonna interact with other people, you know, uh, our dominance or lack thereof. Now, this is the advice here in the position of the four pinnacles here in the position of advice from the universe from this other person. And I like to think of this here since it's a theoretical reading. Uh, what advice would they be able to give you, um, you know, in terms of this relationship? Uh, it's not about them wanting to get back with you or anything. Um, and, you know, this is kind of, I believe what they would tell you uh, and a queen may not be a queen of pentacles, but a queen nonetheless. So this person, though younger than you, they still were young and they knew their value and their worth and they had this certain grace about them. They had enough grace to feel shitty emotionally, really shitty about what, taking advantage of you with the five of cups. You know, they did, um, you know. Um, and so what they would advise you literally is like, don't ever let anybody do that to you again. Or, you know, you know, guard your own energy, own your own energy. Don't let yourself be hurt like that again. I think that's the advice they would give you. Um, and they might say, I'm sorry that I did that, but you know, let that be a lesson to never let that happen again. Wow. Okay, Cancer. And the Knight of Cups. And this is facing towards your person here, the Knight of Cups. Well, let's see what the outcome is, the three of wands. So I like this. This is the advice from spirit for the relationship as a whole. And this is a theoretical relationship, this person that you're thinking of. Um, and I think with the Knight of Cups here pointing at your person uh, is you're the Page of Cups and you're rejected by the Queen of Cups. Now, what would the Queen of Cups accept? She would probably accept a, a knight. You know, that goes down a lot. Um, 
you know, the chivalry, that kind of thing. Um, and this is coming as advice for this situation as a whole. And so to realize that, yes, now you are enough. I think that might have been what you were thinking. You might think, okay, I was a kid then, but I wonder now if I met him at the reunion or whatever, or God forbid, hit him up on Facebook and we met, you know, um, I wonder if they would find me to be enough now for them. And I think the answer is they would, but it's kind of not the point because this is the outcome is you sort of release yourself to really just go look elsewhere or just open yourself up to actions, go out and having fun, taking actions. But you know, three of wands, I say if I was to have a dating site, call it the three of wands dating site, you know, try to bring astrology in. Um, Cause that's going out and looking and taking action. Um, it's the only wands here, so it's kind of nice to see. Um, uh, it's like you may have been through a prolonged period, of it's been kind of heavy, um, you know, kind of a, call it a death period, transformation period. Um, and there's an option here where you end up uh, releasing yourself. Three of wands after this type of energy could just be like the world lifted off your shoulders and just going out and making a vacation, having a wonderful uh, time and also just the feeling like things are really opening up energies lightning and things are getting a lot better um, for you cancer So let me know what you think of that like share subscribe all of that good stuff. Uh, thank you